so early in the morning. Can't sleep so good knowing that uh, everything is really coming to that that head. Uh, there are things that I know that everyone should know, really, but not going to. They will soon enough. They don't need to worry about it today. I'll tell you one happens to be the war that's coming. The teams are splitting up. Okay, Russia, China, United States, England, all of them, really, they're splitting up. And they're, gonna, they're going to be fighting. That's why Biden's been running around trying to get land or, or territory from, from foreign nations so he could get position. They're not going to give it to him. That guy's a loser. He's never been a winner. Maybe he was a good lawyer. Maybe. Probably had his... Probably buying every case he won. <laughs> it's, a, it's a strange family, isn't it? And Pierre Bright. Pierre Bright. Oh, that's strange. Japan, by the way, and China are also going to be part of that splitting up. It's going to be a, a worldwide split, basically. It's going to be a worldwide battle. War. How can I do this at such a time in the morning? What time is it? I can't even see it. Oh, man. It's got to be early. Oh, I can't tell you because I can't see it. But I can tell you this. I want to make it to where I have to go, I'm sure. I have to because we can win this. I, I have the tools to win it. I just don't have the money to win it right now. I had too much money to win it before. But that, was, that was before. Anyway, everybody, we've got to come out swinging. We've got to come out sure. And we don't want to come out not knowing what we're doing. You can't come out quiet. You cannot do that. You've got to know what you're doing. Now, why am I getting up so early in the morning? Because somebody told me to. It feels like I've been directed. And now I'm telling you because it's getting closer and closer and closer. Yeah. Not so much fun. But I'll do my best for you. I always do. And we win. And we win. If I can get to where I belong right now, we will win. I hope you're all okay. I hope you feel okay. I know you. I know many of you know now that it's coming. It's knocking on your door. I know because you've called me, and I've helped. I've helped you as much as I could. You've, yeah, it's not so simple, is it? It's just not so simple. You got to take a look around. You got to make sure you take care of your family. You got to. You got to make sure they're secure. They're, Children, wife, everybody, they can, it's part of your family, you've got to move them, get them into a safe, a safe place. Those chemtrails are coming down, boy, last night I looked at them, it look, they looked like they were an umbrella on top of this town. My goodness, I've never seen anything like that in my life. So close, so friggin' close. Damn, and nobody's doing anything about it when they could do it with the snap of a finger. You know why? Because they're part of the 
overall game. With many nations part of that game. We have to deal with it. We're going to have to bury our dead pretty soon. Oh, we're going to bury their dead. They're going to bury their dead. Damn it, we're so close. Look like I get if I if I stood up straight, it would hit the top of my head. Wow, all the way up, like a ladder going all the way up. If I could sacrifice my life for the, for you, for the whole the team, oh, overall team, I'd do it. But that's not going to be enough. There were ninety percent of the population. Hmm, ninety percent. Something wrong with those sons of bitches. Let's be, you know what the problem is, is they're not really human. They're alien. And they, they're trying to take what they need. And does that make us alien? Um, I don't know. I've been trying, I've been debating that uh, within myself for the last couple of weeks. What are we? What are we? Why is all this coming down on us? Uh, oh, somebody needs it so badly. And that's that to be an alien. Know what I mean? I don't know. I've seen them. I've seen a lot of things in this life. Yeah. I don't have much longer to go. But I need this battle. For, I need this victory for you. Because nobody else is going to get it for you. I just have to find the financing somewhere. There's money all over the place, but nobody wants to spend it. Nobody wants to spend money when the money's not going to have any value. That's what the strange thing is. It'll have no value. The dollar is going to be worthless. And we can use that. Why my new hair? <laughs> I don't know what time in the morning it is, but this is my five o'clock in the morning hair, maybe. So thin. The white hair is getting so thin. And pretty soon they're splitting the team up. They're going to be spreading all over the world. That's why Biden was in Indonesia looking for the property, that land that he wanted there. He's the wrong person to give anything to. Don't let him have anything. Let him stay where he is. He, he's the one that created that mess. One of them, him and Obama. Let them stay there. Let them deal with it. Don't let them come into, into Indonesia or anywhere. You're gonna let that boy shoot bombs off and, and nuclear, everything, all kinds of off from there. No, don't do that to the people in Indonesia. Don't do it. It's not worth it because you don't need to deal with that. China doesn't need to deal Japan doesn't need to deal with that. No place over there needs to deal with that. They're going to blow up your country if you let them. They'll be, it'll be your country that'll be blown up. They're trying to move the war maybe into outside of their country, basically. They don't want to blow up their country, of course not. They want to blow up your country. So it's better not to give them anything. Appear bright. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth, Gates, and others, they're going to be right in the middle of this. They have to be. They have to be. That's what this was all about when they set it up. I told you. 
I actually, you know something? I may get angry at this person a lot for what she's done, but uh, she, could race, she was a good, very good researcher. That was Jean Odin. She did a lot of, not she did, it wasn't her own research actually, in most cases, but in many cases it was. It was us, Jean and myself, who revealed Pia Bright. She did a good job there, a real good job. Now you could, you've got to start looking at the value of a dollar. Not going to be a value soon. And the war is going to be costly. It will be costly. In the meantime, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know what kind of war it's going to be yet. I've, it's going to be pretty nasty. Maybe an EMP. You know, electronic magnetic pulse. It's not. It, it could be. Because that can hit you from way back now. They've developed that to hit something in the sky, a plane in the sky filled with people, or maybe even their own people, and stop the engine, stop their heart too. They'll be dead before they hit the ground. But the plane will just drop. There'll be nothing in the pilot, as a, of a pilot in there at that point in time. It'll be nasty. I'm trying to be, I'm, I'm such a soft-spoken guy, aren't I? No, I'm loud, I know, but not, no, I'm not loud. I don't want anyone to wake up and think that I'm here doing this. It's protecting everybody, too. I don't know, you know, it's, it's so damn funny. I had millions and millions and millions of dollars. And here I am in need of a little just to save us. And I don't have it and I can't get it. Nobody's really talking to me about it. They won't want to know what I know. It was such a, a chemtrail outside. I think I'm coughing because of that. Maybe it's my time to go. You never know. We even bust our asses over here. Kevin's been a good help, a real good help. We've all been to wars, different kinds of wars, along the way. And some of them we're sorry for, some we're not. <clears throat> Who won the basketball games last night? Celtics won, I think. I think the Celtics won, yeah. In Los Angeles is doing real well. I still, I still like my sports, see? Every day. I ask, who won the game? Oh, listen, thank you so much for, for calling me. So many different people from all over. Thank you. And I, I don't know where, how, uh, you can get money to me, maybe Bitcoin. Maybe. There's no ways to do it, but this is something I'm not so good at, but I can research it. If I can get that money before before we get whacked, we can do the whacking. We can be the ones in, in, in charge of the of, of the game. Take a good look at what's around you. I do, all the time. I already see the, the actions and the reactions and, of people. And, and some of them just get angry. Becoming angry is not going to help you, other than the fact that you didn't wake up earlier. I've been waking you up for 10 years, 14, really. And 
You didn't listen. You thought it was a story. You thought it was one of those Benjamin Fulford things where we used to give him the information, but the information was real from Tom Kleins and so on, and people in the different people. Well, he was part of the theft of my notes, him and Dabasco and Zagami. And my money is that they stole 134.5 billion. That's the first one with the lawsuit. That money is in the, the slush funds of the, of the Vatican. They're using it for themselves. And I think something's going to happen. I don't know. I'm pretty good at this, at feeling things and, and not blondes or brunettes. <laughs> not just. <laughs> No. <coughs> I feel things coming. And it's coming here. Yeah, you can still. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to see that it's coming here. We are. We have a battle. It's not, not like World War Three. It's not. This is. I think. I, I honestly believe that there's more to this than that. They're changing the atmosphere. Why would they change the atmosphere for themselves if they were, if they were human? Why would they change it unless there was something different? You've got to take that into consideration. I do. I look at it every day. I keep looking at it. Four or five times a day, those planes are up there. And you got to wonder where to go, what to do. I've got so many people, like I said before, earlier, I, that I love, that I, that I sincerely care about, that I couldn't let anything happen to them. I wouldn't be able to see it. It would hurt me that much. I would go, I'm going to battle anyway. I had a nice conversation the other day with Indonesia. They are really good people. The Sultan, Bima. Even my buddy in South Korea. I think he's getting sick. He hasn't contacted me in a long time. I was sick when I didn't contact him. He wondered what was happening to me. He, it was like he nursed me all the way through, just talking to me. How many times have I gotten poisoned? Damn. And growing up, you can't. You can only get poisoned. Not at all. You can't get poisoned at all. Or you're dead. No, here fourteen times I've been poisoned. I just lay on the sofa, put the blankets over my head like I've done my whole life when I get sick. Put the blankets over my head and, and hope that I can get better. Yeah, this, this time it's different, isn't it? 14 times and still bouncing back. I must be something more than I am. I am what I am, and that's all that I am. Remember that, and I'm not Popeye. <laughs> and I don't want olive oil either. Give it a Bluto, or Brutus, whatever they called him. Now you all eat, drinking your coffee. I'm probably going back to bed, I'm not too sure. This is a long, I just wanted to say, in case this thing pops up on us unexpectedly or anything, that that we could have stopped this. We had plenty of time. Nobody did anything. No one did anything. I went into the. I went in and, and took whatever I could from my my banking and everything else 
No, I did everything. It's, it's, it's. I'll do my best still to help the people. I'm leaving here, though, more than likely. And yes, it's yesterday, uh, to my friend, my wife, my, my son, I, my wife and my son are already acting very strange. Very strange. I'm not telling them everything. My son I'm not telling because he's not capable of handling it. And my wife, she, they have to get out of Dodge and leave me here for the time being or something. Or, or I have to get out, but then again, the, it could be the entire population here that's going to disappear. I have to f stay with them. I have to. I'm going to disappear if I stay. I think I got the. I have the answers, and I have to again get to get to Asia, to in Indonesia. Get to be honest with you. They're real friends there. They're real friends. They're real good people, and they need they need me, and they can. And I sure as hell will come to bat for them. They're going to have a big battle, and I'll be there for them. If I can get through this one. What do you think? What do you think? Can we put it all together? I mean, can we put it all together? We was cost billions, millions, hundreds of millions, and then Kim, we don't need that. We're not asking for that. We're asking for thousands so that we can get the millions, so that we can get the billions, what we need for this battle. So we're really not, we're really not going into so many people pockets, which I don't want to do either. But, but pretty soon it's not going to matter. It's not going to have a value. The dollars are going to be gone. So, if you have any dollars, you should get rid of them. You should. You should do, get get something of value from them at this point in time because it's not going to be a value later. Everything's going to be go back. I believe. I believe that. Yeah, there's plenty of gold in the bunkers, too. But the dollar is still not going to have any value. So that's going to be taken right out from underneath you. It's not gonna, no value. No world's going to be on a, 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 a different basis. Financial basis. It's, it's... You got to... Uh, make worth something. I, I knew this was coming, so I think fighting for your, for your freedom, fighting for your life, is a, a value. Your children's lives, your mother, your family's lives, your mothers and fathers and friends and everything, I think that, that all, that's all worthwhile. So when you move to the next dimension, you got those you care about with you. You don't want to leave them behind the children and everything. You got, they've got to take over the planet. Once we're gone, they, they come in and they take it. And they'll be able to fight it. They never expect the old, the old timers to come in and do anything. Yeah, so someone said, I'm not so old. I'm not talking about me, sweetheart. I'm talking about the planet at large, it, the way it is. We gotta get rid of those old timers that are in the offices, the politicians and so on. They're not helping us, they're helping themselves right now. They're helping themselves. 
and you've, we've allowed them by voting for them to make a mess. You might have an exception every now and then about who's who and what's what and who belongs and who doesn't belong. And you get all that, don't you? Don't you feel it? I can feel it all through my, from my head to my toe. Really feel it. Yeah, you know, the Sultan taught me how to do something and then do it for 15 minutes every day. That's why I do it. I sit there, not with my eyes closed. My eyes are open when I do it. And I can see things and and, and, and do things and know things. I didn't even know what the heck he was talking about when he told me because I could naturally see some things. And, and I was along that spiel. I could feel things. I knew things were coming. My mother knew it too, which at the time it confused me. She said, see, see her mother going into the supermarket every every Saturday or Friday, and she's standing there watching her from from a distance and watching her go in and getting things. I used to say, "What a whack job, <laughs> my mom! What a whack job, mom!" She really did see her. She said, "My grandma used to tell me when I'd bring the oil to her because she could she got sick. When I brought the oil to her, she used to say, Neil, you know what's going on." I said, "Yeah, grandma, we're playing basketball today. We have a game. I have to hurry." That's what I thought. You know, I know what's going on. Let's go shoot the hoop. You know, Eddie and myself would be wound up knowing they got the big game coming in the in the night and uh, Miss Eddie, Eddie disappeared. I don't know what happened to him. I think they, I hope they didn't kidnap him. They kidnapped, they kidnapped the guy that was bringing me the money that I needed to do the, the battle. And that was a lot more than what I needed. But it would be would have been my money, and uh, they took the money from him. They kidnapped him, the courier. He disappeared for two weeks, and everybody worried and thought he took the money. He shows up two weeks later, and he says, "I'm never ever going to do a couriering job again, never." Everybody, what happened? No, well, he wasn't dead. That's what happened. And, they let him go for some reason. Probably because they didn't fight with him. That's how I feel. He's not going back to it. And bank accounts were erased. And I mean, that's amazing how they did that. But they, they control the banks, they control the schools, they control the hospitals, they control. You get the message. They control everything. Everything. Yeah. They can't, they can't control the merengue. I can do the merengue. <laughs> I'd like to go back to the Dominican Republic <coughs> and get out there with some people that I know and, and, and dance that merengue again. Because I feel things, funny things. Uh, going up my leg. It's not a hand either. Uh, it, it, it's it's heaviness. It's something. Something doesn't hurt. It hurts and it doesn't hurt. And I need to get it looked at and I need to have it treated. And I don't even have the time to do that nor the money to do it right now. It's hard to I still have something out there, but I have to go get it, and uh, there's no time for that, and I don't know where the people are. I don't know, so it's something that I can't touch. 
Anyway, look. You've got maybe a month, five weeks. The battles are going to start. People are going to start dying and dropping off. And unless we stop them. We need, a, just so you know, somebody should know other than me, we, we need about $50,000 to... That's it. It's not much. It, I, I can get more from that. The fifty is only to get more. Fifty gets me. Who knows how much? Millions. And I can use that to take us out from the pot. And they're making sure I don't have anything, so I cannot help you. The comment they used, I think Kevin used it too, when he did his post, is if I get to Indonesia, we win the battle. If I don't get to Indonesia, we lose the battle. And they're doing everything possible. They put up a snowstorm warning just the other day. I mean, they, they did just to keep me here. But then again, you have to remember, what's that? You have to remember that they want to take everything from us so we have nothing to fight with. Now, my only thing I can say, the only thing I can say to you at this point in time is that you need to trust me. You've trusted me this far, but that was with my own money. You need to trust me to finish this thing up for you so you can get a, another hundred years. Yeah. We've got to get rid of the ones who are causing this. I got a team of people, and I can put together a team of people once I get my hands. See, your money is what they call seed money. I learned that a long time ago from a, a brilliant businessman by the name of Royal Little, who told me that whenever I get myself into a time of trouble, I should look for the seed money and, and bury myself out. And this is what I'm doing for you. I need to save money to bury us all out so I can get the money. My Yes, I can get the bigger and bigger amount of money from the bunkers or wherever. There's plenty. And then go to work. Then go to work. And I'd have to work like a dog, but I'd expect some of you to come with me because this isn't going to be a one-man job, believe me. Think about it. And you keep asking, how do you reach me? How do you reach me? My telephone number is... Oh, you got my email. You got my email, neilkeenan.com. I think that's it. Richard will follow this up with uh, some place to send it to me so that I can get it. But then again, you have to be careful how you sent it to me. You can hand deliver it, which is a good way. Rear is not a good way, rear, any longer. Okay, just so you know, the Bitcoin is, uh, that's a good way. Uh, private plane, good way. We can't go too far right now and get it because that would that would not, not be fair. When they say that is, is that we'd be sending a big signal 
I think that you all have to get together, all of you, get together and try to find a way. I mean, we're not looking for the world here. We are looking for the world. I'd like this. I like for to save it. I'd like to save you. We don't need that much. We got everything else in place waiting for me. I think Kevin said it in his post that we need it. But he didn't say it was waiting for us. It's wait. Yes, he did. He did say that. But it's for us. When I say for us, it's us. We need it. Not just for not just for us to to save the planet. We need it. Jackson Chen is on the other side and he's looking at things saying, Get over here, Neil, get over here. That's all you need to do. And my buddy from South Korea, whose name I'm not giving, He's saying the same thing, because he had South Korea giving me some funding all along. He same they said they were going to do it. They never did, but uh, it was nickels and dimes anyway. It would have helped at that time, and it would, we wouldn't have come this far. We would have, we'd not have come, and my friend would have been part and parcel to, to my team. I like to have him, him, him right him next to me because. He's a fighter too, I think. I'm not giving his name, but he's a fighter. And that's the guy you need. Got guys in Vietnam that, oh, my friend Lee Han, I believe, they didn't get back to me yet. If you do, there's something I can do. If not, then I can't just throw money around that I don't have. We're going to have to do it all right. It all has to be done right, and I know how to do it now. It's up to you. There was a young lady who sent something to me two days ago, and she knew more than most people. And I found that it, I'm not just amusing. I found it that she understood what was going on and she understood that we needed help and she understood that I was that person not people who make up bullshit along the way it sounds like it's bullshit what I'm making up the gin the gin the gin the gin I got the blood shirt right behind me right now back there I think it's where is it is this still there? Yeah, it's in the mirror. I don't even know if you can see it. Yeah, it's in back of the clock. You can't see it. No, you can't see it, but that was my blood that was shed when I was joking around in a, in a room in of Bayou, I believe. And I said, I'm not afraid of any gin. I said, I'll kick all your asses. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> all of a sudden, I felt something on my shoulder. And it was a light feeling. It was a light feeling. One of the... And I saw the blood coming down, and I called the magic man in, off with the shirt, and put it on the back of a chair. I went into the bathroom and then he put something on my shoulder and it stopped bleeding immediately. This is the stuff that's real, despite the fact you think it's not. I mean, I'm, I Dream of Genie to me was a uh, television show with Barbara Eden. I might have been six years old and in love with Barbara Eden. She was so beautiful. But uh, she was a, gen, a, gen, a gin or a genie. She could do all these things that these people can do, and they've done them. I've seen them do them, though. They're going to be with us. It, our, our weaponry is, is not just weapons. It's guns and things. And that's, and that's just guns. So anyway, I am friendly with the, the gin now. 
very much friendly. And I would expect that uh, the, the, the Gurkhas would come with us too. You know, it, it, the Irish would come with us too. We've got our, myst we got our mystical people that can do damage. And we, I think we all have some in, in our history and, and in our heritage. And I think we need each and every one of them because I think there are warriors too. There are warriors. I, mean, I know I'm a warrior, but anyway, before we go too far, let me just say, I don't know how many opportunities I'm going to have to talk to you like this. But some way, somehow, if you can get $50,000 to us, or more, or more, or a little less, we can do that, what we have to do to save us. And I'm not asking any one person for anything. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying if we can put it together as a group. I'm not out there. I can't do it. I can't go knocking. Not, I'm not going to go knocking on doors anyway, but I can't go to my friends and ask for help when uh, it's help for all of us. We need it. We need to survive. I don't want to see my friends dropping dead in the streets and things. It's not what I want. It's what I've avoided all this time. You know, the children. No, no, no. Leave them alone. Even the little doggies, leave them alone. Leave them alone. I got five little puppies downstairs. Not in the house. I have them outside in the built into a, the side of the house and they're down there sleeping right now. I don't hear them making their, their noise. They're about a month old now. They're starting to walk around and every time they see me coming they, they run. They run to me. It would, it's sort of great to have puppies I think. I got five puppies that I'm gonna give away because the mother is a good doggy. Mother's a good doggy. Maybe keep one with the mom. But I'm not going to be here, I don't think. I'm either going to be dead because they're going to get me before I leave, or I'm going to be saving everybody. Mm -hmm. And until then, uh, until then, I think I'm going to get more merengue lessons. I haven't done it in a while. I have to do some merengue. And I get your head up there. Ta, 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 ta. <laughs> uh, I used to love that dance when I was a kid. Ta, 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 ta. <laughs> Ooh. <coughs> With a nice president, a beer. My friends don't. No. Henry Lopez Pena, he canteen, and his wife Claudette, and his kids. Wonderful kids, wonderful family. I'm not going to get to see them, I don't think, before this all happens. I wish you all in the Dominican Republic, I wish you all safety. I hope it works like that in Peru. My friend Simone, I don't know what happened to you, Simone. I know that I got sick before, and when they poisoned me, and I couldn't do the things and couldn't finish out and I can finish out no maybe it's a little too late but maybe it's not a little too late my friend Simone is one of the best people you'll ever see in your life him and his wife Riva and I have some friends that second to none and I'd like to get that out of the way before anything happens to I need to take care of my friends. I need to do that. You know, then there's my friends in, in London, Jeff. Jeff, I don't know what you're doing. 
don't know. It's uh, an island I've got so many people not able to get there. Not able to get there. And 45,000 or 50,000 is not a lot of money to save the planet, to save ourselves, our families. I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to save a lot of people because I get money from the money. With the money, I'll be able to walk into a bunker, have gold brought down to me. With the gold, I will have much, much more. And we can start expanding our our strength. We're not children anymore. We're, oh, I don't know what I am anymore. I feel like a child. But then again, sometimes I feel like I'm 300. When I get that heavy leg -like feeling from the sugar, I got to get rid of that. That's not good. I can get rid of it. Dr. Group can get rid of it for me. Send me a package that never made it to me. I think they're stopping the package too. I thought I thought I thought a few people like Dr. Group would have gotten me my maybe fifty fifty thousand so I could get this thing over with or fight. Not just him. There's people all over the world that are sitting there watching this. It's too late soon. It's already late, very late. I mean, they're watching everything I do pretty much right now. And like I said, if, if I could give my, uh, turn myself in and let everybody else go, then I would do that. But it doesn't work like that. So, yeah, I never noticed this. This is when I had a battle when I was younger. Fight right here. And uh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Boy, I got hit hard, didn't I? Never noticed it. Now it's popping up. Hmm. Hmm. Different eyebrow. This is my eyebrow. Now I'm going down one this way. Yeah, there. I don't have it. No, let's see. Anyway, I'm still, I'm still okay. Eddie and Vincent and all my guys at Mon A. You know I'm with you every step of the way. I've had to do what other people don't do. And by doing so, I've not been able to put time in to see you, see Ed, to see Vincent, to see Ross and Ricky. And damn, there's so many so many people ran John McGrant and I went, Jesus, John. John's been my John's been a friend forever and ever, I think, sometimes. Yeah, John's uh, like so many people. My son, I gotta say that I love my son so much. And and the wife, uh she's too busy fighting with me to uh understand what's going on. Too busy. Everybody's too busy, it seems. But we don't need it much. It's up, it's up to you right now to help. It's up to you. I know it's only right around the corner. The, the 50 grand, the 45 grand is right around the corner. I just can't get around the corner. I might get, I might get shot. <laughs> Pierre, where's my Pierre Arcade? Pierre is the guy that right now that uh, would run around the corner, get me it, and say, here, here's, here's 150. <laughs> That's what he would say, too. <laughs> uh, Pierre, Pierre, our team, I, I miss everybody, so. Yeah, I miss everybody. Just let me find a way to to secure your safety to begin with. And then the battle. Let me get rid of that battle. I have an EMP. 
I've used my money to buy an EMP, you know, or set up the stage for it. I have it. What time is it? 6.52, 6.55. I'm going to uh, go outside. I'm gonna, I haven't had a cup of coffee in so long. It, medicines, different things for the throat and I'm surprised I'm not dead. Anyway, listen, go eat your breakfast. And I've got to tell you that, uh, that I love you all. Miss, I'm going to miss you. If, if something happens, I might not be able to make contact with you. They might take you from the net. They might take me from the net. But uh, I'm going to give you a a phone number in a little and it'll go to with the site with, with this with the, where this is going to be posted and I'll have a number there where you can send something if you want to if you want to help you know I like I said it's not a whole hell of a bunch of money shit I could take you out on a date you beautiful woman it would cost that not true Actually, I did one time. Went out one time with a, I want to tell you a story. Went out one time with a beautiful blonde. Had a dark tan. And this was in Peru. It was in Peru. And, no, it wasn't. It was Dominican Republic. And nobody knew. Henry Lopez Pena didn't know, and his wife didn't know. Nobody knew where I was going. Bella, Bella, Bella the president, didn't know where I was. Nobody knew where I was. And I was on a boat. It was out there in the Caribbean with this beautiful blonde with the, with the captain of the ship. And boy, did we have a good time. Yeah, we have a good time. Nowadays, you can't do that because you don't know. First of all, you got to know the person you're with. Secondly, uh... This woman was a model, but uh, right now you've got to be very careful because, oh, you guys have got it tough. You see something you like, you go out and you grab them by the hand and say, come on, let's go. Then you find out it's a man. Aye, what do you do? Oh, shit, man. you gotta, you got to run. <laughs> it's a strange world that Obama built. I said from the beginning that she was a man because she played football for the University of, she played for Oregon, played linebacker, and did well too as a freshman. Couldn't take a shower because the guys were taking showers, and he was a she or she was a he. However you want to look at it, and you know, it, it, it got crazy. And that's another reason why you've got to look at today and say what's going on. What's going on? You got to look at it. What's out there? What's doing this? What's doing it? I don't know. I don't have the answer to that. Uh, maybe just sickness. Anyway, look, I gotta let you go because it's uh, it's a lot of time that's gone by, and it's probably the first and last time I'll ever do this. And uh, you guys just take care of yourselves and take care of your loved ones, and and do all you can to help them. Okay. Put your arms around them. Put your, put get your kids and give them a hug. Tell them you love them. Do it. It's what you need to do right now. You can't walk away from it and hope that it disappears. It's not going to disappear. We're going to lose some people. You just take care. You girls, you just, I don't know what to tell you really. I can probably find a place where you can, where you can go and be safe. The woman, while the guys, while the guys fight, if that's the case, I probably can do that. 
but you're going to have to contact me and we talk but it's going to be insane you just take care okay everybody take care and just remember I've got a magic number my magic number is about 40 the two numbers 45 to 55 probably five numbers if you want to go count them in between and that will get me what I need from the bunkers and so on in the gold so that we can put this front up and save our families and other families as well take care I spoke for an hour it's I'm Irish I can I'm long-winded I gotta save the country of Ireland. I gotta save I could, all kinds. Of, I gotta get those people out of Ireland that don't belong there. Yeah, we got them in all over the place. We gotta get them out. Anyway, I will send everybody my love, and let's see if we can work this thing out and get this thing done. I'll get your numbers where you can send it, where it's safe. In the meantime. You just take care of yourselves, okay? And think about what you're going to do and where you're going to go. You need a place. You need a place. It's, you can't stay at home and expect nobody to knock down your door. They're going to knock down your door. They're going to. Yeah. They got the ramp, the bat in those rams to knock down your door too. Now you just take care. Everything's gonna be. We're gonna make it, I think. I think there's enough of you out there. There's plenty of you out there, really. That can get the 45 or 50 to me. And that'll be my departure from here. To go and get what's needed to do what has to be done. I wish you well, everybody. And if not, then I'll see you on the other side. You just take care. I'd like to do that merengue one more time. <laughs> Smile. Smile, we've had a good life. But let's hope I can extend it a little longer for you. Donald, Brian, damn guys, never thought it would lead to this, to what I'm doing. Well, it turns out I, they called me the one in Indonesia. They called me the Amana. They've called me so many different things. And now it's time for me to perform. Yeah. Okay, Phyllis, goodbye. Eileen, goodbye. Just in case. Michael Levay, goodbye. Guy Dufour, goodbye. I have so many people over the world. Fernando, goodbye. Simon, I'll miss you. You know? The Lopez Pena you know, family, E Canteen. <laughs> I miss you guys, and I miss all you guys. I miss all you guys. I miss all you girls that I know, Diane and everybody, uh, Lisa, and I'm saying goodbye to all my friends, the restaurants, and Dimitri, and yeah, yeah. I'll talk to you. If I have time, I'll talk to you about Dimitri. I'll talk to you about things. Uh, Michael. You know, there's something that's, that's off color there that doesn't fly that I should talk to you about, but not now. Not now. We're going to be okay. See, I have my plane right behind me, right there, 
where that little thing goes. Take care, everybody. Everybody, take care. Jeff, take care. All my Irish buddies, all of you. All of you, I'd like, I'd like to take you by your ears and take you to a safe place. You've got enough of them over there. The Druids are there. The Chinese Dragon Family, thank you so much for being you, for being such good people. You let me play my game. You let me go after them. Dragon families, they're probably laughing, saying, you only need for 50,000, 45,000. They're probably doing that, but the idea is to get it to me too, and safely, and, and fast. God bless you guys, all of you all over the world. Fernando, you guys, uh, the guys that really mattered, the many that really mattered, I just have to tell you this. My team passed away when I came here. Tom Murphy was uh, one of the best people in the world, if not the best, you know? Tom was, Tom would have got the 50 or 45 with the snap. I know his wife didn't like what he was doing, but she, she didn't know what he was doing at that time. And Tom wasn't going to stop. Tom was the best, best person to meet with. Tommy could, Tommy was brilliant when it came to sitting down with people, not me. That was, Tom had his little thing and he met his people and he'd sit there and talk to them from all over the world and, you know, and, and me, I'd bring people in. I would bring people in. Tom would finish it off. I'd go out and get them, Tom would finish it off. Had a couple of contracts that were worth billions. Uh, with Enron and so on, they they put the power in the in the two the stations in in the in the Dominican Republic. But that was us that put that together, you know. And uh, that contract uh, in LodgeNet, they were in the basement of Tom's home and disappeared after we uh, Tom passed. Was a bunch of money there. Anyway, you you all take care. All right. Take care. Bye bye for now. It's time to go.